Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to link Figma to VS Code in 2023. Of course, Figma is a powerful design tool to uh, Visual Studio Code, which is, and of course, uh, Visual Studio Code is a popular code editor. So if you're eager to streamline your workflow between design and development, stick around and let's explore the step-by-step -step process of linking Figma to VS Code. So make sure to stick by and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience now let's understand first of all like the benefits of linking figma to vs code linking like Viz, uh, Vic, figma to vs code offers a seamless collaboration between designers and developers allowing for smoother transaction transactions or transitions sorry for from like design to code and now you'll have to go and open the VS Code and navigate into the extension Marketplace. You can search for and install the Figma plugin once installed, then you'll have to restart the VS Code if required. Of course, if you don't have like the VS Code downloaded like me in here, you can open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Go here to the article section, simply type VS Code and go here and click on download right away. For me, I'll choose Windows. For you, you can choose Mac or Linux, depending on whatever you have. And in here, as an example, I'll have to download it. So click on Save. And the download should start. So once it's finished, I'll simply just go and click on that. So it should open and I'll start like installing it into my PC. So I'll just go and click on that. Double click on it. And this should start the installation. Of course, let's just close this. We don't need it anymore. So, of course, I accept the agreement. You'll have to read them out, of course. Click on next, next, next. And of course, you can create a desktop icon if you want to. And of course, you can like add open with code, action, open with code, etc. So you can like choose that, whatever you want, and simply just go and check whatever you want. So then click on next and install. And as you can see, setup is preparing to install, so it should start installing right now. So here, I'll have to wait until like this is installed. Not, and once it's installed, as you can see, click on finish. Check this option, which is launch Visual Studio Code, and click on finish, and we will be good to go. So once it's once it's launched, like here, as we said, we will have to. Navigate into the extensions and search for and install the Figma plugin. Of course, the extensions, you'll find them on this left panel. This option, less option. So go and click on that. And as you can see here, we'll have to look for Figma extension. So as you can see, I'll just go for full screen and make it like this. So here, as you can see, you'll find Figma for VS Code. Bring Figma into the text editor inspect like uh, designs receive notification and get the code suggestions and this publisher has verified ownership of figma.com so you will have nothing to worry about so go click on that and click on install to install it into your vase code as example so it's installed right now once you install it of course into your vs code you will have to restart the vs code if required so how to restart this of course basically just go and close it and you can open it again. So now you are ready to go. Of course, now you'll need to do just go and open your browser, of course, and go to the URL section, type figma.com, of course, go into that. And here you'll have to go and log in at your account if you have one. If you don't, you'll have to go and click on get started for free to create a new account. You can, of course, scroll down to read more information about this website or have just a general idea about it if you don't know much about it. For me, I'll just go in here and click on login to login into my account. And of course, I'll continue with Google. Choose my accounts that I have Figma on. And this should log me, as you can see, into my account right away. So, yeah, as you can see, I have here all my like, uh, projects and etc. Now, what you'll need to do is simply we'll have to go and generate an API access token. You can copy that token and paste it into the VS Code Figma plugin to authorize the access. Now just go back here to your, of course, uh, VS Code, 
you'll go to the less panel and as you can see you will not find the last one extensions you will find figma instead so click on that and as you can see log on to your figma account to inspect design files and certification so click on login and as you can see do you want a uh, uh, code to open external website of course just go and open that if you want to and as you can see to continue login so you'll have to do so so I'll go and click on open of course this will open like in here so i'll just go i'll have to go and open it in here so sorry this one i have to go and do that and come back in here and do right this and of course basically i'll have here to go and log in again so i'll go and click on that and this should log me right into my account so just go and click on that of course if they have any issues i'll just go and log in into the other browser because once i click once i do so this opens in my other browser so i'll have just to go and log in, in there next in here so of course you don't see what i'm doing of course i'll have to like click on yes on my phone and we will be good to go so we'll find the tab like this. So I'll just show you. Once you do so, you'll find this open Figma for VS Code. Click on it and click on Open Visual Studio Code. And once you do so, as you can see, you will find this allow Figma VS Code extension to open this URL. So click on Open. And here we are, as you can see. So all of my Figma. So one, two, three, four, five like five titles and like seven other uh, projects i'll go here to visual studio an example one two three four five one two and other like projects so all my projects i'll i'll find them right here so it seems like i don't even to generate the api key and connect with that so even accept the figma dev mode beta terms of service before continuing make sure to go and accept that of course Click on open in here and you have windows subsystem for linux example inside in your system do you want to install recommended that so this is like i don't want to and basically i uh, that's it of course once you click like on accept and etc you'll find something like this welcome to div mode so first choose your platform units and etc so you'll have to choose the css ios android and more whatever like you have just go and choose that then set the color find the plugins install the integration and you will be good to go if you want to so i guess that's it for you you've already like connected or linked your figma to vs code now you'll be of course be able to generate your code snipped update your designs in figma and even collaborate between like design and code you can encourage like collaborating between designers and like developers you can use the linked figma file in vs code to foster communication and alignments between teams so i guess that's gonna be it for me today for you congratulations so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one